Buckner, 60... We're into sports, all sports, here at 10-4-0 on the WHO Saturday Sports Line. Back on WHO Saturday Sports Line, Larry Kotler, Mike Lee, with you along with producer Dave Braggett, technical director is Vicki Seaver, right now in Des Moines, cloudy skies, 82 degrees, variable cloudiness across the state this afternoon, mostly sunny to eastern sections, highs 79, 86 statewide, around the Des Moines area, 82 to 85 for the afternoon high. Well, we had a good time this week, Mike Lee and I, talking to the commissioner of baseball. It was something we'd been trying to work out for a long time. It became a reality this week. So right now, without further ado, a visit with the commissioner of baseball, Bowie Q. First of all, commissioner, uh, there's talk about a draft to have you uh, be reinstated as baseball commissioner after your term supposedly expires. A lot of that coming from the baseball contract you've negotiated with the networks. Uh, what are your feelings about possibly being reinstated to uh, follow yourself? Well, I, uh, I have no objection to that, to that plan, if that can be called a plan. Um, so long as the, uh, uh, nothing is done to uh, dilute the powers of the, of the office, I think the commission's got to have certain clear-cut powers, and uh, as long as they're there and if the support should uh, develop for me, I'd be more than happy to continue. Mr. Commissioner, what does the new baseball television contract mean for the future of Major League Baseball? Well, I think it's going to have uh, some substantial economic impact. We've got a lot of clubs operating in the red at the present time. It by no means will solve all of the economic problems we face, but it certainly is going to help alleviate uh, some of them. It doesn't mean that we can ignore uh, good business practices, however, in this profession. And uh, so I think we're going to have to wait and see on it. But it's an encouraging thing. Commissioner, you took a lot of heat uh, through the media for not stepping in and, and making your presence more known during the baseball strike. What is your response to uh, some of the criticism you've received about that situation? Well, obviously there's uh, a limited amount that uh, any commissioner can do uh, in the course of a strike situation. That's demonstrated not only in my sport, but in, in other sports where we've had uh, similar problems. Um, you've got to remember that uh, the powers of the office of commissioner do not do not override the uh, the labor laws of the United States, and there's some romantic notion out there that we can turn the clock back to 1921 when we didn't have the same labor laws, and commissioners can say to players, "Okay, stop that nonsense about striking and go back to work." That's just silly. They can't do that. Uh, I think I did everything one could possibly do to try to to bring about modifications of positions that would have resulted in a solution and I'm also quite satisfied that I was very instrumental in getting modifications that ultimately did lead to a solution but the Players Association had made up his mind and wanted to stand and fight on the issue and they did indeed stand and fight. Mr. Commissioner what has the concept of free agency meant to Major League Baseball? In other words has it been a positive or a negative impact? Well I, I'm not never have been an enemy of the general concept of free agency. Uh, nonetheless, I think the free agency that was achieved in 1976 was too broad and sweeping in scale and has resulted in a form of free agency that has not been uh, altogether constructive for, for baseball. Um, I think it's uh, brought about uh, an unnecessarily large escalation in player compensation. It's put uh, undue pressure on the ticket price. And I think that uh, while, I don't, while I don't begrudge the payers, players a very generous share in the revenues of the business, uh, obviously uh, uh, the management has got to sit back and begin to worry about the fans and the ticket price. Commissioner, there's been a lot of talk recently against the designated hitter. Uh, uh, for a long time there's been talk about uh, that baseball is the only sport that has different rules for different leagues. Do you see any modification of this situation? Oh, I think uh, I think a change is inevitable where both leagues will operate either with or the designated hitter or without it. Um, I know there's been a lot of criticism of the fact that the two leagues are different on it. Uh, uh, and while I would frankly prefer to see them uh, united, uh, I'm not certain that the uh, situation is all as desperate as some people would have it. I think it's produced a very lively debate uh, among baseball fans.
fans. I think it's produced an interesting contrast in styles between the two leagues, and I don't find that altogether unacceptable. Nonetheless, I would sooner see them both on the same wavelength, and I think when, once we get our restructuring process completed with uh, 26 club voting on a lot of issues, that would be the logical way to resolve that problem, up or down. Mr. Commissioner, speaking of teams, do you think it's rather silly to have the current rules in effect as they are right now with uh, less than a majority being able to veto the uh, re-election of the current commissioner to another term? <laughs> well, that's a question you didn't think I was going to give you a negative answer to. <laughs> I, uh, a positive answer. I, I don't think it's uh, a good rule. Uh, I do think that after you've been around as commissioner and I'm in my 15th year, uh, to ask that a commissioner be reelected by a three-quarter vote of both leagues uh, is not a very sound system. Obviously, if the commissioner does his job, uh, he is going to uh, antagonize some people and uh, thereby develop negative note votes against the commissioner. Um, and obviously, I've succeeded in developing some, some negative votes for a variety of reasons, incidentally. Um, I, I think a much sounder system would be one where the commissioner was re-elected by a simple majority of both leagues, which I would have achieved uh, when I came up. Indeed, I got 70% of the vote. I was just <coughs> not able to get 75%. Commissioner, kind of a two-part question lumped into one. Since you become commissioner, what are some of the things you're most proud of during your uh, administration? And are there any things you look back on and say, I wish I could have another chance because I could have handled the situation better? Well, I think in terms of uh, things I like, uh, the enormous growth and the popularity of the game in my time is, is, is uh, it's great. It's, uh, we were drawing 23 million people in the major leagues when I became commissioner last year. We drew 45 million people uh, in the major leagues. And uh, as between professional and amateur ball, we drew 75 million people. Um, stunning growth and popularity of the game uh, during this period of time. Uh, that pleases me. I guess more importantly, uh, almost nobody questions the uh, honesty and integrity of the game of baseball, and that's one of the things the commissioner is uh, most importantly charged with. In terms of um, what I look back on and would, would have had differently, uh, I, I think the whole course of uh, player-club uh, relations has not been uh, ideal. I would like to have seen it been better, and somehow I wished I could have contributed more to that area than I have been able to and than others have been able to. But that's a two-way street. Uh, I guess there were a variety of people who may not have been making the contribution they should make to that. I think in the future there'll, there'll be a real effort on all sides to do a better job there. Mr. Commissioner, uh, let me state before I ask the question, I'm, I'm one of the people who's, who's in your corner. Um, I've taken some heat. He, I've taken some heat for that, but let me ask you this, uh, without trying to sound too negative. If you had to select your own successor, who would it be? Oh, that's a very hard question. Um, uh, I don't for a moment think that, uh, that Boy Kuhn is the only man who could be an effective commissioner of baseball. Uh, at the same time, I do think, given the experience I've had over 15 years, anybody uh, stepping into this job would have trouble for a period of time getting uh, getting into the swing of it. There's going to be some spinning of the wheels while a new commissioner might try to get into the, to the swing of it. Uh, having said all that, uh, I guess uh, if I had to go out and pick a commissioner, I'd go out and pick Happy Chandler. How about Happy? I think so, that'd be an excellent selection. Yeah, that'd be, we had him on the show a couple of years ago. He's certainly a very uh, intelligent man, knows, where, knows what it's all about. Remarkable man on the uh, on, on July, I think it's July the 11th. Uh, Happy will be 85 years old. Uh, he's the oldest um, living person ever elected to the Hall of Fame, which he takes great pride in. And nothing he takes great pride in. He's had, uh, as he will admit, a number of enemies over the years, both in politics and in baseball. And he said, having got to be 84 and now about to be 85, he's had the pleasure of outliving a great many of those sons of guns who gave him trouble. 
Commissioner, in the interest of time, a couple of cool questions I have, then I know Mike has one to follow to, to wrap up the interview. First of all, do you see any attendance being, as the new USFL hurt your attendance at all in Major League Baseball? And second of all, are there any plans for expansion to other Major League cities? Barry, I don't see any sign that the USFL has, has hurt us. Um, we have had a lot of extraordinary weather problems this year, which I'm sure has had some adverse effect on us, but the general thrust is so strong in baseball uh, I don't feel that uh, even that's going to be a major problem as the season wears on. Um, as to expansion, I don't see it in the short term, but I think during the decade you're bound to see expansion in Major League Baseball. Any idea where those places might be? Uh, Larry, there's so many uh, cities out there in North America looking for Major League Baseball. It'd be hard, hard to narrow it down to any one. You look any, in any region of the country, you've got fine cities. Uh, many, uh, or at least a number, with uh, good ballparks, others in the process of building uh, ballparks, uh, or putting them on the drawing boards, and one of the toughest problems we face, and really one of the most flattering problems we face, is all the fine cities out there that would love to be part of the Major League scene. Mr. Commissioner, after you retire, what would you like to do? What are your goals? Well, it all depends on when, <laughs> when that is. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's sort of up in the air right now, isn't it? short term, uh, uh, there are a lot of things I'd like to do. Uh, I've had the uh, pleasure of practicing the profession of the law before. I can do that again. But in the course of that, uh, uh, I would like to uh, try to contribute in a constructive way to sports, not just baseball, but I've learned a lot about the sports business and, uh, and the world of sports. I think uh, I can contribute in a lot of ways. Um, as sort of a catbird on the sidelines, uh, commenting on where sports is and how sports might be improved. I have some strong feelings about that. And in addition, one of the things I love to do is work in different charity organizations, and I'd love to have more time to do more, even more of that than I do now. I do a lot now, and I'd love to do more. That's the Commissioner of Baseball, Bowie Kuhn, on WHO Saturday Sports Line. Time now for another fishing report. This time we head up to northeast Iowa with Larry Davis of the Iowa Conservation Commission.